everyone. Welcome to Spill the Beans Podcast. My name is Lester. Yes, and this is Paolo. And I don't know how many episodes we already have, but I think uh, this is more than uh, 13 or 14 wow. episodes already. Yes. Yeah. And today we have a, a, a very special guest, no? Oh. An old-time friend of the channel. <laughs> old-time talaga. O- old-time friend, yes. She's oh. old-time, pero hindi naman siya old. Yes. Oh. <laughs> She's actually very young. Uh, same age ba kayo, Lester? Yes. 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 Oh, yes. Yeah. Same age ka Same ba? age. Parang nangitim ka talaga, Lester. <laughs> Sa oh, makikita ba natin to once uploaded na ganyan talaga kulay mo? Oo oh, nga eh. Oh. Parang nangitim ako. Oh. So just for the memory keepers, no? we're slowing down on our introduction. Uh, for the memory keepers, just to let you know, hindi naman po ganyan kaitim si Lester. Kasi <laughs> uh, sa damit. It's a damn it. Yes. Uh, I don't know what's happening. Hopefully, it's not our camera. Uh, but he is uh, <laughs> more fair-skinned than uh, what you see on, uh, on, on your screens right yes. now. So. Okay, so today we have a, a special guest. Uh, uh, this is another YouTube talk. Uh, we have a content creator. <laughs> and today we have Bob. Hello. Bob. What's the handle name on your on your YouTube channel? Uh, Bob Ekarma. So it's at B O B E C A R M A. Ah, okay, Bob Ekarma. <laughs> okay, Bob, can you introduce yourself? Just your name, um, uh, your name, your YouTube handle name, mm-hmm. and then. Uh, what? Because right now Bob is in a transitional phase <laughs> in your life, right? Yes, going uh, into a new chapter. Going into <laughs> a new chapter. So we'll just start off with your name and your uh, YouTube handle name or your channel name first, so you can look at your camera and just uh, mention your name. Okay, hello guys. My name is Bob Karma, and you can find me on YouTube and other social media at B O B E C A R M A. So that's Bob Karma. Wow, Bob, <laughs> you seem to be an expert on this. Uh, isa, no, isa no, intro pa lang, nakikita ko na parang sanay ka na eh. No, uh, aspiring lang. Aspiring. <laughs> Is there, uh, have you done other things uh, in front of the, the camera? Are you involved with a certain form of media? Uh, mm-hmm. Have you uh, uh, have done have you done uh, <laughs> spoken word or anything like <laughs> Very that? Specific. <laughs> Very specific. Very specific. Okay. But okay. yeah, I, I have. So I used to do uh, spoken word way back. Hindi naman mga two years ago. Okay. And I do also a lot of hosting for events or yes. mga gigs and things like that. So well, just a nine naman. Where did you get that skill of hosting? Because you're pretty good. Oh, thank you. Yes. <laughs> yes. Where, where, where did you acquire that? Because you, you don't just... Well, I guess for some, you're more inclined. Mm. But for you, uh, it seems very second nature. So <laughs> how did you develop that? Well, I actually took an elective when I was in college. Okay. Specifically, it was called Hosting 101. Ah. <laughs> and that's really where it started. So from okay. there, I would just go into events and stuff. Mm. And then, of course, I na honed the skill. Na yan. So you training ka pala yes. talaga. Yeah. So, so si Lester pala natural. Ka. True. Oh, si Lester, no training needed. No training <laughs> needed. Eh. Yeah. He is one of the uh, most exciting hosts <laughs> that uh, uh, we'll ever uh, encounter. So sige, uh, si Street uh, or Lester is signaling to me that we should look at some of Bob's uh, previous clips Ooh. with uh, <laughs> Teddy Sage clothing. Oh, so, uh, yeah. Uh, so this is Bob's channel. But before we go to Bob's channel, Mm-mm. can we pull up the uh, event where Bob, uh, we had an event in Greenbelt uh, for Christian Vlogs. Ayun, it just looks, <laughs> looks very familiar, no? Yung, yung nasa gitna. And uh, how long ago was this? Was this like a year ago or two years ago? December 14, 2017. Oh my God. 27, how, how time flies, no? Yeah. Grabe. But Bob, you still look the same. <laughs> just look, the hair. It's just the, the hair. Looks, ah, oh, no, mm-hmm. just the hair. Mm-hmm. Too bad kasi talaga naka-colorblind ako. <laughs> <laughs> it still looks the same to me. Okay. So, uh, at this time, uh, what was going on in your life at this time? Uh, mm-hmm. Did you, were you working somewhere else? Yeah. Yeah. So uh, at that time, I think I was just in my first year of work. And then I, I would do hosting as a freelance. Uh, first year of work. Mm-hmm. Is it okay if we ask where yeah. you used to work? So I used to work in a music agency called Homonym. Yes. Wow. <laughs> music agency. How, yes. oh, what is, uh, I'm not familiar. Mm-hmm. A music agency handles what, I, I know, uh, 
ako, ito na yung mga comments. I, I know a music agency handles music, mm-hmm. pero to be more specific, right. uh, wh- what do you guys do on a day-to-day basis? So actually, I was very blessed because the company I went into was the first music agency in the Philippines. Wow. So it's okay for other people like not to really know it because it's a really new field. But what we do, um, instead of creating music, we help brands, let's say, get artists for their campaigns or uh. we help people license songs, things like that. And we do events also. So a lot of stuff. Naman, but all music related. All music related. Yeah. You were saying, uh, just to uh, uh, rewind a little bit, mm-hmm. Bit, you help brands mm-hmm. get artists. Mm-hmm. So, what specifically do you mean by that? You help brands. When we say brands, are yeah. we talking about corporate brands or more of music labels? Uh, mostly corporate. Uh, yeah. Corporate brands. Mm-hmm. Okay, when uh, corporate brands have a business need for musicians yeah. or singers, yes. uh, what specifically for advertising or yeah. marketing? So, sometimes they would get them, let's say, as an endorser and an ambassador for their brand, but also uh, sometimes they're just like, hey, can we use their song? Like, can you help us go through uh, that? Um, yeah, that okay. transaction or something. Okay, yeah. so they, they, they uh, get musicians mm-hmm. uh, either known or still. Uh, 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 starting out musicians? Yeah. Sometimes um, they would get the known ones but actually as in our company at least we would really push for the up and coming ones. Yung mga independent people who are really talented and just need that extra push to be out there. Uh, what do you call again the, the startup uh, musicians? The, there's a, indie. There, indie. There <laughs> yeah. you go. Yeah. More, mm-hmm. more of the indie artists. Yes. So uh, what was your what was your uh, job description there? What was your core responsibility? I was the lead music supervisor supervisor there in that company. Yeah. Galing, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, parang uh, job interview lang naman oh. mo. Oh, okay. oh. <laughs> no, just to get you know, get to know you a little mm-hmm. more. Uh, you were saying you were the lead music supervisor. What is yeah. a lead music supervisor? What what do you do mm-hmm. on a may, may plano ako mag-apply. Eh. <laughs> oh. So here's the resume. <laughs> <laughs> but actually, I don't know if you notice when you uh-huh. watch movies, but there would also oh sorry, there would always be like a composer yeah. but there would also be a music supervisor so the music supervisor naman is in charge of pitching songs to the movie like let's say uh, hey this really popular movie should use a rock song and these are the rock artists and the rock songs that you can use that I can help license for you for that movie so uh, yeah that's mm. mostly what I did I would pitch songs for different projects and then okay. negotiate um, for the artists and for things like that negotiate on the side of the artist or negotiate uh, more with uh, uh, I just answer I, I don't <laughs> like it when I answer uh, ask questions and then I answer <laughs> it in my head but just for the memory keepers and the yeah. subscribers uh, you negotiate technically uh, on the side of the artist and your office yes. uh, okay it sounds like a very fun job and, it was and, yeah and how long did you stay there I was there uh, so I did an internship for about three months and then I was there for one year and a couple months after almost two years almost two yeah, years all all. were there any famous mu- musicians that you uh, came across oh yeah I can't say you all can't of them. say all of them <laughs> confidential uh, but yeah confidential. a lot no one uh, well, mostly uh, local artists mm, yes always our, our goal was really to push local artists so yeah ah uh, okay <laughs> so at that time when we uh, so right now we have on the screen uh, <laughs> we have Bob's uh, hosting gig uh, from a very good company I think this company Company's name is uh, Teddy Sage Clothing. Mm, yes, a very uh, good company. A very good, oh, up and coming, uh, <laughs> soon to be on hip the fortune. Hip and happening. Yeah, hip and happening. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank you. Please give me more. more. <laughs> give me more of the young words. Masadong old words na yun. Okay. So uh, this is Bob hosting our very first uh, mm. Christian Vlogs event in Greenbelt. Aww. And at this time, you were still working for mm-hmm. the music company. Yes. Uh, Bob, was uh, hosting, is this something that you usually do on the side? Yes. Mm. Yeah. Uh, how often do you do it? Um, well, honestly, as often as people invite me to do it. <laughs> but uh, usually, seguro, I get maybe one or two a month. Maybe, One or two yeah. a month. So, so what? What is it? You, you crave for it. You look for it. Um, Not really. I I would never really put myself out there and be like, hire me. I'm yeah. a host. But I'm just really blessed to know people that would always put on events or gigs uh, and be like, hey, can you host? I'm like, of course, game. Ah, uh, okay, <laughs> okay. Uh, can you pause a little bit on this one? 
uh, uh, a little backstory here. Uh, no, on, on, don't worry. Ano <laughs> don't worry. I won't reveal anything. Uh, so can we go back to our where Bob was holding a piece of paper? Uh, okay, so this this part I have to give a lot of credit to Bob because I just gave her that paper like five or three minutes before <laughs> before we started, and uh, she just really picked up uh, picked up on on everything that I asked her to do. She had no choice but to read it at this point. But <laughs> as the show progressed, mm-hmm. uh, she was able to really relay 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 relay, <laughs> relay, <laughs> relay everything that that I asked her. Uh, uh, to say uh, because at this point itong show na to was all uh, it was kind of collapsing with, with certain uh, you know, no, uh, it was uh, really fun no on, on <laughs> the, the before the, we had the show mm, the behind uh, the scenes we, behind side. the scenes uh, uh, so, so there were so many moving parts mm-mm. that uh, s- uh, some people canceled, mm-hmm. other people weren't sure. So everything was frantic uh, beforehand. And luckily, we, we just kept working uh, amidst the storm. And then uh, everything just came together when we started. But this is, to, this is a testament to Bob's uh, hosting <laughs> skills. Because uh, she, she, she was really able to uh, go about and really deliver sa Christian Vlogs at this time. So that... Training that composure. You got that from <laughs> from school. Um, from school, but mostly from other events. Like the best training and experience I get from events, talaga, and the, the really stressful type of events. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's true. Alam mo kahit dito sa podcast, we feel that eh. the more podcasts that mm-hmm. we go through, kahit gano kapagod na pagod na kami, <laughs> uh, that's that's really. Uh, the thing that sharpens you, no? Yes. Uh, the more you do it, the more you become better yes. at it. So, uh, right now, I don't want to jump into other aspects immediately, but uh, there's a certain development in, <laughs> in in Bob's life, right? Yes. Is it, is it okay to discuss it? Of course. It? She's getting married? No, <laughs> 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 no, no, we're just kidding. We're just kidding. She's still uh, very young and uh, a lot of, a lot of uh, dreams and, uh, and goals. That and, happens, yes. yes. <laughs> okay, so Bob, uh, wow, ito pala, ang daming. Oh. How, come, how come all these things aren't on your channel? Oh, because I, it's... I feel like as a creator, I'm so gulo. <laughs> it comes uh, to my content, like I can't piece everything together and okay. and stuff like that. So I'm thankful other people upload uh, for me. Uh, <laughs> Bob, and dami, eh? I uh, know. Etong life, what's, what's this life after Mint? Uh, I got interviewed recently by my college. Um, ayun. Oh, uh, so that's, that's their segment where they interview all the alumni and be like, how are you doing? How has college helped you? Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. So you're friend is also from the same school mm-hmm. yes uh okay so mint mm-hmm. eh, what what does mint stand for meridian uh, international meridian yes. international so ang mint really uh specializes more on the artistic yes. young, uh, artistic demographic yes uh Wow. Bob, uh, ano naman ang sinasabi mo dito dahil medyo hindi <laughs> ko pa naririnig. Okay, so yeah. Wow. wow. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm mostly talking about my course and how it brought me to where I am now. <laughs> yeah, uh, this, uh, this looks like a very uh, hip school. It is, it is. It's one uh, floor in a building, but it's very hip naman. Ah. Uh, Okay, and then the fact that you were able to do hosting and, mm. and they gave you training on that. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's very rare that uh, other media schools yeah. uh, actually really uh, teach that. Yeah, I was very thankful for that. Okay, so this is Mint. Uh, mm. This was, uh, they interviewed you because you were an alumni of Mm-mm. the school. Yeah. Um, Mint has been around for for how long? I feel like maybe seven years, five to seven years. Seven years, years. Very, so fair, fairly yeah, new. Yes. Fa- fairly new. Mm-hmm. And uh, Bob, you're such a chameleon. <laughs> chameleon. Can you help me, Lester? <laughs> chameleon. <laughs> chameleon. <laughs> chameleon. <laughs> chameleon. Yeah, chameleon. <laughs> chameleon. <laughs> chameleon. Uh, because you, better you can change your look on, on, uh, on a drop of a hat. Is that the proper look expression? Like yung 
face ko. Ganun. Uh, no, 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 here's what I'm trying to say. Parang you can look corporate mm. and then on the next show, you can look young and then on the next show, ito, here, you look like an alumni. <laughs> Parang talagang you can change uh, immediately. Yeah, kaya depending mag- on the need. <laughs> kaya niya mag-adapt agad. Oh, <laughs> Ako kasi conference room lang ang look all the time. <laughs> Hindi ako maka-change. Uh, okay. Is this something that... Uh, Uh, you pride yourself in the, the ability to to adapt to any stage. Mm-hmm. I actually never thought of that about yeah. myself till now. So thank you. <laughs> no, you can't. Because even when I see the thumbnails on on the videos, iba mm-hmm. iba eh. Uh, even uh, with the spoken word, yeah, mm-hmm. eh, ano yung good na siya. Seg- okay, oh, aking segue sa spoken My word. No? Okay. So itong spoken word. Mm-hmm. Uh, for the people who don't know, what is uh, spoken word? So spoken word is basically poetry that you recite. So it's you. Ah, yeah, roses reciting. are red, mga uh-huh. no? yes, violets exactly. are. Yes, uh, uh, exactly. Violets, violets are, are blue. <laughs> violets are blue. Yes. Yes. Tama naman. I, I started to doubt myself. <laughs> violets are blue, para malay. Uh, okay, so you used to do spoken yeah. word. Yeah. Uh, Ayaw. Ayan. Ito na ang spoken word. Uh, may medyo pakinggan natin ang konte, ah. Eh? So what we're looking at right now, wow, stages, <laughs> session, fill pop. All right. So oh, BG, BGC Art Center. Thank you for okay. Thank you for staying wow. Here. Room and All right. It looks familiar, huh? <laughs> Christmas. Christmas of Anian. Christmas of 2017. Uh, very busy talaga ito oh, si Bob. Yung 2017, though, is like my busiest years. Ah, uh, 2017. Ano mm-hmm. tayo, 2016. Wow, 2016. Uh, Ah, uh, okay. This piece. Ah, oh, you're going to sing. No, nakamali ako. Akala ko rin nga kakanta ako. So wait, this is... Yes. Thank God. Okay. Love so actually. It's weird to watch yourself, no? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Ah, Love okay. Actually. Shoot, who's in Love Actually? Kira Knightley. Um, so listen ah, intently. Ah, okay. Yeah. For now, let me say, without hope or agenda, just because it's Christmas... And oh, at Christmas, you tell the truth. The truth is that I didn't want to write about Christmas. Sorry. I didn't want to write about the gifts <laughs> or the wish lists, not about the sales and how it's good for business, not about the shopping and how it eats us up like a sickness or how it's an illness to be single while everyone gets kisses, not about how you're forced to mingle while your titas talk chismes. No, I didn't want to write about Christmas. <laughs> I didn't want to write about how you're forced to sing and dance to get cash. Or it's how good. much wrapping paper ends up in the trash. Or how many times you have to hear songs about reindeer or elves or mistletoes in hallways. None of which I have ever seen in my life yet we sing about anyway. I didn't want to write about how the reason for the season is love. Or was it forgiveness? About how true riches come from above, even if your savings get diminished. About how his presence is better than presence, yet you look to your parents to shower blessings on blessings on blessings. I didn't want to write about how you wait so for nice. round you men in red, <laughs> slide down chimneys you don't have, because all the Christmas songs said that if you don't get gifts, you've been bad. I didn't want to write about any of these things because they sounded like a broken record being played over and over even if I never owned any records so there was nothing left to break. It's funny how a season so merry can make you feel pretty empty and get you pretty drunk. Like the little kid joy inside you has shrunk so no, I didn't want to write about Christmas. But they say at Christmas you tell the truth. So to be honest, It amazes me how you can spend all your time waiting in line to gift wrap bottles of wine. Or how you brave the traffic, whether on roads or in shopping malls, to shop for bath soap that's organic for a tita you never liked at all. Yes, that one, the one who keeps saying you're getting fatter. But it's okay because this is the season (laughs) that you've mastered fake laughter. See, it amazes me how you can still be merry even if you're spending Christmas in a ferry. 
or in the terminal of an airport just to spend an hour with a family you've been traveling days for, or how there's still beauty in reusing all the same decor even if your lanterns are falling to the floor or your lights don't work anymore, or how no one minds if you've been buying a smaller tree because every year you've been growing a bigger family. And you all still sing karaoke wow. really badly. And you all gather to hear the exact same story. Yet you listen. You listen intently. They say, at Christmas you tell the truth. So the truth is, I didn't want to write about Christmas. But it's all I wrote about. Thank you. Wow. wow. So. I have to applaud. <laughs> I mean, I I hope we can show that. Uh, unfortunately, memory keepers, I can't guarantee that uh, what we just watched, we can show you uh, because uh, I'm not sure of the copyright or who owns the clip, but hopefully we can show it. Bob, um, what's your process? Well, but, but before we get to the process, uh, that's, 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 that's amazing on how you can keep composure. I know how it is when you're in front of a crowd that big. Yeah, I was so nervous. You could hear it in my voice. Yeah. Like shake na siya. So <laughs> how did you stay composed? Because I thought you were going to lose it at one yeah, point. Yeah, I thought so too. I, I legit forgot everything I remember. And then I was yeah. just like... Ugh. And yeah. then how did you uh, get back in the game? How did you uh, 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 control your disposition and it's say, okay... Question. Yeah, because it really looked like, it, it, from, from that yeah. point, it looked like you were yeah. uh, de derailed, you were yeah. gone. So how did you get back into that? Well, backtrack on that specific performance, I was so nervous because I didn't prepare as well. Um, and that's one of the performances that I had to memorize. Because usually ah. I'm more confident Shemper, if I have my notebook or something like that. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I have to slow you. You did not prepare? That whole thing was... No, no, man. I, I wrote it and I memorized it. But okay. I wasn't as prepared. All right. I felt like I wasn't as prepared for it. Like I only memorized it that day. Okay. Yeah, I only memorized it okay. that day. Um, uh, so, but where, what's the setting? So that uh, the memory keepers mm. can visualize it are you in bgc maybank yeah maybank theater in oh BGC. that's big yeah Lovely well lad. no just that I, I forgot the name of the room specifically mm -hmm. but it wasn't as big naman siguro mga 100 people <laughs> no i know this this has to be the where, where the dance practices happen or mm -hmm. the recital it's mm -mm. still big it's it's high ceiling <laughs> yeah diba? it is pretty big yeah, yeah. so because i'm thinking if it's in the main 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 mm. theater uh, parang ang hirap mag set up na ganyan. So, mm. okay, it's in the smaller yeah. place, but it's still 100 people. Yes. And for those who are just so used to YouTube, uh, it's different when you just see numbers. But once you see faces yeah, in the crowd, for it, sure. it takes a different kind of person yeah. to really perform. <laughs> Kasi yung mga vloggers ngayon, di nyo naman nakikita. Yeah. Diba? The so, reactions of people and, and everything. Yeah. Yeah. May it throws you off. Exactly. Tapos pag may magbulungan lang ng konti sa... I know! Sa, <laughs> sa, Is it me? Are you talking <laughs> yeah. about me? <laughs> diba? Sa first row. Okay, mm -hmm. so going back to your amazing performance, Bob. Uh, how you, uh, you got thrown off a little mm, bit uh, yeah. and, and what was your disposition again on how to get back I it, think that's the part naman where people are helpful because uh, if I was saying it let's say in front of a camera yeah. I would have been like okay cut like, let's take it again but you can't do that when yes. it's live yes. so uh -oh. at that point just looking at the faces of my friends and the audience and like you know how at least they're supporting you even if you mess up yeah. and that just sort of like oop I remember the next line and then you just keep going like after uh, that naman. so technically your training kicked in yeah <laughs> all of the the, the the subjects the credits yeah. and all the previous experiences <laughs> yes. is automatically mm -hmm. kicked in that's amazing you know what bagay ka mag lawyer <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I like that segue. That was so bagay, smooth. <laughs> bagay na bagay ka mag lawyer. No, no? The memory keepers are like, huh? Saan yun ang galing? Oh, <laughs> saan ang galing yung pag lawyer? No? Hindi ko naman maitindihan. <laughs> Pero no, you, you, have, you, you have the persona. You, you have the composure. Thank and you. Uh, when you talk, people listen. Thank because there are a lot of people who talk and <laughs> nobody <laughs> listens. Huh? Uh, uh, it happens, no? Nami public speakers na wala yeah, nakikinay. Yeah, you get bored and everything. You get bored. So also that command of uh, uh, of uh, of the audience, mm -hmm. you got that from school as well? 
Yeah, from, well, again, from school and then all the events that led up to that. Uh-huh. <laughs> but I have had bad gigs naman that literally people weren't, hindi nila ako pinapansin. Like, I'm on uh-huh. stage, I'm like, hi guys! Tapos yeah. walang sumasagot. But that's what shapes you naman into yes. yeah, the all, person all, you are. All the mistakes from yes, the past, exactly. they, they help you. Mm-mm. All right. So what was, was there any uh, one experience on stage that was really embarrassing for you? Hmm... Well, not sure. I won't rank it. I mm-hmm. remember this one time. Um, it was a corporate-ish gig, and then I said the wrong brand. So, far, oh my gosh, <laughs> patay na ako, wala na work after <laughs> this. <laughs> but you know, man, parang uh, save no one, save. You yeah. you really have to own up what you like the mistakes yeah. you make because if it's live you can't take it back and you yes. just have to be like oops sorry yes. um, it was a food brand and I said the other food brand and then yeah. I just kept saying other food brands and I was like sorry gutom ko sayo guys ganun just tumawa naman sila Uh-oh. yeah ayun and then um, there have been times that I was called out because people felt like I was talking too much so mm-hmm. that's when I learned naman um, especially when it's events for let's say yung mga gigs may okay. mga bands which I do a lot Yes. if the band is setting up and sometimes they take too long to set up you don't want to talk the audience ear off so I've learned to be like okay guys um Stay tuned. We'll, I'll be back for the next artist. Ganon. So. Ah, yeah. uh, okay. I, I learned something new there. I thought because if uh, there's preparation, especially mm-hmm. for the concert, you just have to get out there like a mm-hmm. like a hype man. I think they yeah. call it more like a hype man. <laughs> more of an MC. MC, <laughs> and then you just keep talking. Yeah. So many instances, palana. You just have to be very mm-hmm. conservative with yeah. your words. Yeah. If you really run out of things to say, uh-uh. it. It does more damage than it does good because to keep blabbering about random things. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. And I learned that the hard way. Like, I got a really painful siguro, comment. Yeah. Um, na parang, why is the host talking so much? Ganun, ganun. And I was like, oh, okay. That's when I learned naman the value of knowing when to step back. So someone really said it the, in front of you? No, or naman. did someone just give you a note? Just like... Grabe uh, <laughs> 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 naman. It, 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 it happens. Uh, yeah. I, I was scrolling through social media lang after the event. Uh, and then someone was saying, the host is talking too much. Ganun, ganun. So, wow. Yeah. Why, why do I have to ask? Why do you read comments? I didn't. Um, my friend... I really don't. Like, honestly, I don't. Because Uh-oh. I forget also that people... People do comment. So even yeah. my previous videos, I don't read because it's oh, like, the comment section exists. Yes. Um, but it was my friend who said, hey, are you okay? Mm-hmm. Like after seeing this and I'm like, seeing what? And then I saw it. So I just knew it. But I was thankful also. W- w- but was it a legitimate comment na saying that you talk too much or w- was that person just trying to get under your skin? Oh, no. Naman. I feel like because some audiences if they don't have the best experience in a gig parang yeah. titirahin na lang nila lahat yes, yes. so parang that person got back seat row yata and Uh-oh. then parang daming tao and she's like I don't I, like, why did yeah. I pay so much money for this this happened Uh-oh. and this happened and also the host kept talking too much yeah. so parang nasama na lang ako dun. but it also uh-huh. shaped me and my hosting style naman so, okay yeah. Y- more of surgical strike and I yeah. na shock and on mm-hmm. uh, you just keep talking mm-hmm. pero kaya meron naman kasi talaga mga ganyan eh pag <laughs> feeling nila yung ticket masyadong mahal yeah. or they bought from a scalper that really uh, <laughs> charged them three times the amount yeah. when they get in they want the, the moon and the stars yeah they right? do they want front row they want to <laughs> hold the artist's hand and you know that can't happen <laughs> yes and then if not they don't get it yeah. uh, patay ka na sa comments mm-hmm. right they'll say mm-hmm. all these things yes alright Oh,